officially announced plans for joint military exercises for the Russian and Turkish navies in the East Mediterranean Sea. The Turkish and Russian coalition military exercises in the Eastern Mediterranean are planned to be carried out on September 17th to 25th, 2020 near the location of the Turkish research ship Oruk Race operating. The news, of course, has shocked the European Union and NATO countries. This is because the entry of the Russian Navy in the Eastern Mediterranean coincided with the increasing tensions between Turkey and Greece, which was supported by France and several other European Union countries. That means the planned military exercise to be carried out by the Turkish-Russian coalition in the Eastern Mediterranean has the potential to risk a clash with Greece, which is backed by the French Navy. Information compiled by Viva Military from Ekaterinburg, Friday, September 4, 2020. NATO is very worried about hearing of Russia's planned military movement towards the East Mediterranean. NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg also encouraged Turkey to put forward diplomatic efforts to reduce tensions with Greece in Mediterranean waters. According to him, the tension between the two warring countries could only be resolved by a series of technical military meetings between the two countries. On a different occasion, former Prime Minister of Turkey Ahmed Davutoglu also said, the massive movement of Turkish military power in the Mediterranean at this time is very risky for neighboring Greece and other European Union countries. He also criticized the steps of the Turkish president, Recep Tayyip Erdogan, who currently prefers the path of deploying military power over diplomacy. According to Davutoglu, these simultaneous military deployments could lead to major wars in Mediterranean waters. At any time a crisis can erupt and escalate. Let's talk about this issue and share all views. Everyone must sit together to discuss all issues and reduce tensions, said Davutoglu. Meanwhile, the Turkish foreign ministry welcomed the NATO proposal. He emphasized that Turkey will be ready to dialogue with Greece as long as there are no preconditions in order to find a solution based on the principle of justice. The meetings that focus on the conflict are indeed related to the previously discussed arrangements at the bilateral level between the military authorities of the two countries. They are not related to the unresolved bilateral issue between Turkey and Greece, the Turkish Foreign Ministry 